For more debates, updates and bonus content, sign up at thebigconversation.show. So I grew up in a conservative Jewish household in New York. Um, we kept kosher, we did uh, Shabbat on Friday nights, all, all the big holidays. Um, but there was a strong secular belief within that. And as I was telling you sort of backstage, um, you know, there's, a, there's an interesting piece related to Judaism that I think is a little different than other religions in that the ethnic tie to it, at least in a modern way, is for most Jews more important than the religious nature of it specifically, let's say belief specifically, uh, because John, as we were talking about, there are many, many Jews, especially in, in sciences and in mathematics, that aren't believers per se, but have a real cultural affinity. And I would say that that's sort of where I'm at, um, or at least where I've been over the last couple of years. I actually am now in the last few years, and this has to do uh, a lot with being on tour with Jordan Peterson for a year. Uh, Jordan and I did about 110 stops in, in one calendar year in about 20 countries. It was pretty amazing. And, and when you spend that kind of time listening to a, a true innovative thinker, I mean, truly the guy that I think is, is the world's most important public philosopher, let's say, um, you know, talking about his biblical lectures and talking about his perspective on life and that there has to be a bedrock of something that is real and true outside of us. And then how he relates that through the, the biblical stories. Um, it moved me. It moved me over the course of, of the year that we did this together. So I would say I'm, I'm secular basically in my life, but I definitely in the last year have found that there has to be something outside of us. The rest of this makes no sense. I mean, the, the part, very briefly, the part that you know, I'm really known for is the, is the political part and that I was a lefty and, and the difference between you leftism. You kind of had a political conversion. I had a, right, so yeah. I'm, I'm usually much more comfortable talking about my yeah. political conversion <laughs> than, than, a, than a religious one. Um, but, but I would say this, that consistent with me talking about sort of what's happened with the postmodern left, with mm. the progressives, and we see this now, where there's sort of nothing that's empirically true. And any, any given day, you can feel anything about any particular topic. Um, there's a reason for that. And the reason is they've disconnected everything. Their whole worldview is disconnected to anything that came before them. So that, that could be God or a religious set of ideas or something like that. So I'm really, really fascinated by that at the moment. And it's, it's changing how I yeah. live my life. I, I just did, it was Yom Kippur, which is the holiest day in Judaism. I was at a service that was actually at a church in, in Pasadena in Los Angeles, hosted by, by Dennis Prager, that I'm sure many of you guys know about. Uh, Dennis Prager, who many of you know. So uh, I'm sort of, I'm, I would say I'm in it the way you guys are all in it. Well, trying to find some truth in, in the I'll, madness. I'll be interested to tease that out a, l a little more in due course. I mean, one, one thing I did notice is I, I have seen just watching some of your videos that there's definitely been a progression in your thinking on this. And, and probably if you go back a few years, I think you had said along the lines of you probably thought of yourself as an atheist, but evidently that's not quite the case anymore. Well, I had a bunch of atheists, high profile atheists on the show mm. in a row, yeah. uh, starting with Sam Harris, who I, I admire, and he, he's a good friend of mine, uh, and Michael Shermer and Peter Bogosian. And I really love the intellectual side of that. I, I really, really do love it. And that's not at the exclusion of anything else, actually. Um, but what I found was that I had had a series of atheists on in a row, and then people online just kept, kept saying that I was an atheist. Right. And, and then I sort of just said it one day without <laughs> It didn't, it didn't mean anything to me sort of right. one way or another. It was almost, it just sort of came, it just sort of came out of my mouth one day. And then uh, two years ago, you know, I do this off the grid August thing where I, I literally lock my phone in a safe and I don't look at any news or television. I am completely offline and I, I really disappear and I try to let my brain reset. And, and two years ago when I did it, um, one of the thoughts that I kept having sort of in my, in my piece was that I'm not an atheist. And I came back and I said it in a very casual way on, I just did this live stream where I just sort of said it very flippantly that I just don't like the word atheist. It doesn't, it doesn't fit what I believe. I do believe right. in something else, even if I can't completely articulate what it is. I think Jordan has gone a long way to right. articulate yeah. the type of thing that I believe in. Um, and I got a lot, of, a lot of hate for that one. 
um, because, you know, the atheists, they don't like a converted person either. So, <laughs> you know, you got to watch out for that too. So, you know, we, we all have our own trappings, but what I'm most interested in um, is, is talking to people from all walks of life and figuring out what the common stuff is. And what I like to frame that around is a conversation about freedom and how do we, how do we limit government Ooh. so we can all believe what we want to believe and think what we want to think and, and be part of a society that's pluralistic and, and decent for all of us.